The sound in this video was processed by Isotope. Hello everyone, here is Max, and today I'll give you all the information you need to be able to answer the question Does size matter? We'll be looking at three cabinets built by the same manufacturer at the same factory using the same materials and speakers. Although I have to mention that 2x12 comes with 16 ohm speakers while the other two come with 8 ohm. If you're looking for a cabinet, these three are worth checking. They are from AMT and they may be the most affordable cabinets with vintage 30s on European market right now, after Halle Benton, of course. For the sound test I'll be using two mics, SM57 and my condenser mic, which will be carefully positioned exactly the same way relatively to the speaker in each case. I'll be using three pre-recorded samples for clean, crunch and high gain sound. For reamping, I'll be using Rinconator and Stonehead SH100 amp. And all settings on the amp will stay the same during the whole test. Let's make a quick sound check. Something I didn't see coming at all, even though the 1x12 was the quietest one in the room, when closed mic'd, it happened to be the loudest one. And vice versa with 4x12. I'll adjust the levels accordingly to make them even, and let's begin with a clean example and a condenser mic. Now let's switch over to SM57. I will now switch to the crunch channel on Stonehead for the crunch example. And once again for SM57. Okay, now it is time for the lead channel and high gain example. I will swap the mic somewhere in the middle of it. Thank you. 
Well, this was the test with mics being placed very closely to the speaker. But as I mentioned before, the loudness relations in the room were completely different. And with help of Ivan Demichev, I tried to capture that during the music mesa in Frankfurt. He's operating my true box of amsomness, which allows real-time switching between cabinets. I've placed a stereo mic at about 3 meters away from the cabinets. And friendly people from Novanex were very kind to provide a level meter. Thanks for that. Hopefully, this will give us some hint about the actual difference in volume. Apparently, it's not easy to capture three cabinets at the same time. Actually, in the room, the 1x12 was significantly different compared to the other two. But that's not what we hear on the tape. I believe a small change in the mic placement would make a huge difference. Here's the same playthrough captured with the mic turned into the opposite direction, away from the cabs, capturing the room. <laughs> There is a huge difference, but again, in the room, it didn't sound like this. So for the final test, I've decided to use impulse responses of these cabinets. They will soon be available or may already be available by the time you're watching this video on AMT website as a part of True Cap IR library. Well, let's check what this sounds like. <laughs> Well, you know what? After checking all these cabinets, I can tell size does matter. But it's not essential. I've made my choice about the size already. What about you? Would you like to watch some more cabinet shootouts? Don't forget to download and check the impulses. I'll give you all the links in the description. Let me know what your favorite one is in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button right there. And don't forget about the bell button to get notifications every time I'm posting a new video. A special thanks goes to people in the list below. Those are my patrons. If you want to say thanks, hit the button on the left and join the list. Well, that's it for now. Have a good day and I'll see you soon!